I bought a bus for my horses. Yes, you heard me right. It's for my horses. And let's just say it was a little more work than I expected. A lot more work. A few months ago, I had a crazy idea. I wanted to buy a rodeo and camping rig that I could sleep in, but also haul my horses in. When I started doing my research, I found this little thing called a schoolie. Now a schoolie is when somebody buys a bus and they convert it into an RV. Hold up. Yeah, I get a lot of looks in this bus. So I kind of took that idea and ran with it, except I put my own twist on it. If I made a schoolie, it would have to be able to haul my horses. And that's exactly what I did. I'd been wanting a bus for a while, so the minute I found a good deal on a low mileage bus, I jumped at the opportunity. Here's my reaction to seeing the bus for the first time. Holy cow, boys. Check out the bus. <laughs> it's freaking huge, man. It's big. Dang, look at this freaking bus. Quick route the crew. Oh my gosh, what did we just do? I have no what idea. What did I just do, yes, baby? Sir! Let's go. <laughs> let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Usually you can buy a school bus for about $3,000. In this case, I spent $6,000. And I know it sounds a little pricey, but it was for a good reason. This bus only has 80,000 miles on it. The reason this bus doesn't have a lot of miles on it is because it was used as an athletic bus for a school in Wyoming. So it wasn't being used every day. It was just being used for sports trips. Let me take you off the tripod and I'll show you around the bus. So a few other perks about the bus is because it was used for sports trips, it's got a lot of storage underneath. They used it for football pads and all that kind of stuff, but I'm gonna use it for camping gear, saddles, all sorts of things. A few other cool things about the bus is it's like 38 feet long. It's got a Cummings engine in it, an Allison transmission, and it's got automatic chains for the back tires. When I first brought this bus home, I was super excited about it. And I just wanna show you guys the build, so let's jump right into it. After buying it, I brought it home and started working on it right away. The first thing I wanted to do was build a horse rack in the back of the bus. So I recruited the help of another YouTuber called The Average Cowboy. So we started to tear the bus apart. In the back right here, we're taking out all these rivets on the ceiling. We're gonna take out these heaters. We're gonna tie up the coolant hoses. Let's get to it. It's gonna be a busy day. more solid than I thought. <laughs> After gutting and cleaning the inside, we started cutting the roof and walls off the back of the bus. But I guess we didn't cut it perfectly because we had a problem taking the top off. Oh my gosh, I feel like this is a bad idea. <laughs> well, let's see the damage done here. Looks like it's a... Uh... Oh, we might need to cut that a little bit. That's just what we wanted to happen. That's awesome. Okay, we got the bottom ripped off this sucker. Yeah, there's just one other side, one little piece of metal on the other side we need to cut. <laughs> Eli, what the heck is happening here, man? Dude, I just started going and I couldn't control myself. You know, you look at the front half of this bus, you might think that's a pretty good looking bus. 
Look at the back half. <laughs> it's a little messy. A little bit of a fixer upper. All right. Take two. We cut out all the last little pieces that we missed. So hopefully when he takes the forks to it this time, it just pops right off. Let's hope anyways. <laughs> the chair. Well, this bus is really coming along. Eli, you think we've been working on it for what, three days now? Three full days. We've been grinding. And I just want to say, this would not be possible if it wasn't for Eli right here. Go check out his channel. He does a lot of the same stuff as us. So I'll link it down in the description below. Go check out The Average Cowboy. After ripping off the top, it was time to take off the back wall and reconnect it to the front of the bus. Now, the back of the bus is officially a flatbed. Before we could build the cattle rack, we needed a foundation for it. So, we bolted angle iron onto the frame of the bus. This is what it looks like before. This is what it looks like after. So we're setting up this back part. We're gonna have a gate on it. This is Start the back this. gate? Yep. All right. Today's been a long day, but we finally have all of our anchors set. So all of these corner pieces right here, that's what the rack's gonna sit on. The next day, the weather was not on our side, but that didn't slow us down. This is what the back of the bus is gonna look like. Check it out. <laughs> oh man. We've got a situation here, all right? You see, when we're trying to eyeball things, we don't always get everything perfectly straight, okay? See this gap right here? We don't know what to do about that, so Eli just wants to pound it down. I think that's what we're gonna do. <laughs> that's not good. After building the frame for the cattle rack, the bus was starting to look pretty dang cool. A few days later, the mud dried up and it was finally time to hang the panels and sheet metal. This was our biggest job by far. Eli was gonna weld and I was on the grinder. We've almost got one side of the rack done. We've still got a long ways to go though. After a few days of building the rack and weeks of working on the bus, it was finally time for a test drive. All right, we're all done with the rack. Let's go clean it up. Obviously, we still have a ton of work to do with the bus. I mean, look at the inside here. We haven't even touched it yet. Wiring and everything, still a mess. And we've still got a lot of things to do on the outside too. This needs a little box around it. And then we need a ramp for this back door. We need to figure that out. And then on the outside of the bus, we need to seal all this off, make it waterproof, make it look pretty. Most importantly, the bus needs a name. What am I gonna paint right here, guys? It's up to you. I'm gonna pick my favorite comment. We have a lot of work to do on this bus, but I wanna tell you something pretty cool. I wanna put your name on the bus. So let's build a back wall right here that looks really cool. And everybody who buys a hat in the next 30 days, I'll put your name on this wall. And if you're already in the cap club, don't worry about it. I'm already gonna put your name on the list.